from the patient files of Dr. Hugo Strange, Director of Arkham Asylum. Patient Drury Walker, also known as Killer Moth. The patient suffers from antisocial personality disorder, obsessive behavior, and delusions of grandeur. Session 1. So, Mr. Walker, moths. Oh, come on. Why do people always pick on the moth theme? As if a flying rodent is so much better. You are very attached to moths, yes? Um, no? Perhaps some early incident in your life involving moths? Okay, just stop it right there, Doc. I don't have a fixation on moths. I'm not obsessed with them. I just figured they made for a neat gimmick. I find that very hard to believe, Mr. Walker. What else could possibly possess a grown man to dress up in a colorful moth costume but obsession? Naive optimism? I met it, Doc. I was completely crazy. I dressed up like a freaking moth. I know, that's really weird. I admit to it all. I was out of my mind. I know I was. So you don't need to psychoanalyze me. You admit it was abnormal. Yeah, very abnormal. And I'm done with that, I confess. I acted nuts, and I just want to move on. You regret your killer moth career? Doc, it was the biggest mistake I've ever made in my entire life. I wish I could just forget the whole thing. I wish Gotham could just forget the whole thing. But I doubt that's going to happen. I'll be hearing about this till the end of my days. <clears throat> well, this is interesting, Mr. Walker. I was under the impression you were very proud of your killer moth antics and fancied yourself the Dark Knight's greatest nemesis. What? <laughs> Heck no. I only ever met him once. I mainly just fought that Batgirl chick. And she kept kicking my ass. She throws a surprisingly hard punch for her size. My jaw still hurts after our last encounter. Well, <clears throat> I wasn't expecting this. I was fully prepared to tackle your moth fixation. A moth's just a moth, Doc. I don't care. I don't see how they're any more silly than bats, though. Yes, don't get me started on bats. I have a bone to pick there as well. <clears throat> Um, uh, perhaps we should start from the beginning, Mr. Walker. How did this entire thing get started? Well, I guess you could say I had a bad day once. A bad day? Yeah, really bad day. I lost my job. My boss always hated me. She was just looking for an excuse to fire me. Finally got one, I guess. My girlfriend didn't take it well. Left me. On the very same day. <laughs> I guess she was just looking for an excuse as well. Go on. Well, I guess I've always kind of admired all these crazy costume people. Thought they were pretty cool. Used to fantasize about being one myself. A supervillain. Fighting the Dark Knight. That'd be kind of cool, you know? Well, um, with nothing left to lose, I figured, why not give it a shot? Why not become a supervillain, eh? Yeah. Really stupid now that I think about it. <laughs> Me? A supervillain? Wow, what f was I thinking? Um, so, anyway, I figured I needed an angle. You know, to stand out among all the other supervillains. So I came up with this racket. I thought it was such a smart idea at the time to become the Batman for criminals. You know, protect criminals like Batman protects civilians. And you thought this was a smart idea? At first, okay. I knew how stupid it was. I figured I could take a cut of the criminal's loot. I wasn't a total sucker. I wasn't going to do it for free like Batman. Well, turned out not many criminals were very interested in this service. I first went to the Iceberg Lounge. You know, the Penguin's Joint. I've heard of it. I somehow managed to arrange a meeting with him. Everybody knows he runs the underworld, so I figured I'd start at the top, you know? 
I mean, I didn't expect him to hire my services, but I figured he could pass the word around, you know? If the penguin said I was cool, then nobody would doubt. And did he think you were cool? <laughs> I think he only agreed to see me because he simply could not believe some geek dressed up in a purple and green moth costume just waltzed into the iceberg lounge. I mean, it was just something he had to see, you know? Like, who the hell is this nut job? Yeah, it didn't go too well. I proposed my scheme to him, and, well, let's just say I got to hear that famous wah laugh in person. But you didn't give up? No. Unfortunately, I didn't. <sighs> Wish I had. I went to the other crime bosses. Black Mask, Maxi Zeus, the Ventriloquist. They all laughed at me. Can you believe that? I was laughed at by a goddamn puppet. Eventually, I was scraping the bottom of the barrel. I went to small-time hoods like the Street Demons and the Gargoyle Gang. Some of them were impressed by me. They liked my fancy gadgets and thought my idea was brilliant. I finally got hired. Pulled off a few successful jobs, too. It only worked when it was just cops involved, though. As soon as the bat showed up, it was game over. Never did stand a chance against them. And you then decided to retire, as it were. Yeah, Doc. I came to my senses. A little too late, though. I wouldn't say that, Mr. Walker. Better late than never. Most people in this place love being supervillains and never want to quit. I would say you are a victim, Mr. Walker. A victim of something far worse than a bad day. Do you know what you are a victim of, Mr. Walker? You tell me, Doc. Like so many others in this city, you are a victim of the Batman. I call it the Batman Syndrome. It is an epidemic in Gotham. That madman inspires unstable and troubled people into putting on ridiculous costumes and playing cops and robbers. He has legitimized his Outrageous, destructive behavior. I guess maybe you got a point, Doc. I mean, if it wasn't for Batman, I obviously wouldn't have decided to become the Batman for criminals. You would have handled your bad day in a normal way. So it's Batman's fault, huh? It most certainly is, Mr. Walker. He is a menace. So, what now? What happens next? With you, you show remorse and regret for your crimes, and you display no mental illnesses. I don't think you'll spend a lot of time here. Wait, you're saying you're going to declare me sane? Most likely, yes. <laughs> wow, Doc. I can't thank you enough. You have no idea how happy this makes me. And trust me, I'll never put on another moth costume in my life. I'd sooner burn one. It's going to be a normal life for me from now on. I'll get a new job, a new girl. Hell, first I'll move, leave this stinking stir-crazy town behind, and never look back. Yes, I would advise that. Forget all about the Batman and supervillains, Mr. Walker. Be normal. <laughs> I sure will, Doc. I sure will. Oh boy, where should I move? Obviously not Central City. That place is full of costume cooks, too. And Metropolis is always getting attacked by aliens. Maybe Seattle or San Francisco? I never hear about supervillains in Seattle or San Francisco. Or maybe I should just leave the country and go to Europe. You never hear about supervillains in Europe.